Hey guys, Dan here from danstube.tv and today we are checking out a really cool application for both iOS and Android devices. It is called Thumbdrift Furious One Touch Car Racing, absolutely free on both devices and I will have those links in the description below. You can experience all of the amazing features in this game for absolutely nothing at all. It is a completely free application but you will occasionally get bombarded with unskippable adverts which can be annoying if you're playing a lot of this game but the overwhelming joy that you'll experience while playing this will kind of counteract that annoyance that you have when the ads pop up. Now if you are really into this game you can purchase the premium pack which removes all those ads but if you are like me and you don't really care too much then you can experience everything this game has to offer for absolutely nothing at all. This is one of those games that you can just pick up and play whenever you have a spare minute and it is insanely addictive guys. The gameplay is really fun, it's easy to pick up and really anyone can pick it up and play it. You just use your thumb and you drift, as the name implies, thumb drift. And it's actually really well produced. It's a clean little game and it has quite a lot to offer. So you have over 60 fully unlicensed cars, but these unlicensed cars are based off real life cars. So there's a lot of kind of recognizable cars that you will find or unlock along the way. You can also pick up some really cool gimmicky cars like I picked up a tank the other day, which is actually really easy to control and looks really cool. On top of that, you have obviously this addictive drifting gameplay. We also get to experience an original soundtrack with four pump in tunes. You can challenge your friends for the top score. The graphics are actually pretty good. Even though they class them as flat shaded low poly graphics, they do have a fair bit of depth to them and they've put a lot of detail into the actual vehicles which is a bonus because you unlock them and you have a screen where you can display all the vehicles so it's nice to go through and see what you've actually unlocked along the way and that is where I guess a lot of the enjoyment came out of this game for me all of the different vehicles that you can unlock it's a pretty easy progressive system you just keep playing you have challenges here and there and as you progress through those challenges you get points and then you can unlock random vehicles and that is what I really liked I like it how it's a random series of just challenges that you have to complete and then you get a random unlockable along the way. That for me was a really cool feature. They also have a really cool effect when you smash into obstacles. Your car shatters into multiple pieces and your driver comes flying out of the car. It looks really cool and it is satisfying even when you lose the game. But that's the thing about this game, it's one of those endless games that you don't really lose. Even if you crash, you jump straight into the game and you keep progressing to try to unlock the next challenge, get as many coins as you can and progress to the next random unlock basically. Basically. It's a pretty linear style, there isn't any storyline, there's nothing crazy going on, it's just a really addictive fun game to check out guys. And for absolutely nothing, why not check it out guys, you may be pleasantly surprised, I know that I was. And that's basically it guys, a really fun drifting game, one of the best drifting games that I've ever experienced on my touch device. I just love how arcadey it is, I love how easy it is to pick up and play, and I can come back to this game at any point and still enjoy a few runs. So let me know what you think in the comments below guys. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.